Welcome to Mikun's hardware. I have finally received these three packages with the Chinese LG 2011 third version motherboards. I was expecting these motherboards to come separately one by one so I can test them one by one, make videos and then maybe either sell them or build a computer or maybe just keep for myself. But it happened to be that all three motherboards have arrived to me together. I was expecting one motherboard two weeks ago, another motherboard a week ago and the third motherboard in a week. But they happen to come all together, thus I have decided to make a little video where I will be unboxing all three of them. So this big box most likely containing Huanan GX99TF, this small one most likely containing Huanan GX99M, and this third one is a little bit bonus, it's uh, another Micro ATX Chinese motherboard for LGA 2011 third version socket, and it's uh, called Machinista X99Z. I'm not sure if this is a good board or bad board, but we will compare it and see which of these are better. Huanan GX99M or Machinista X99Z. Okay, now you can see all the boxes. Let's open one and take a look what's inside. And I will start with Huanan GX998M. In the box we have such mounting adapter for the AM4 coolers on LG2011 platform. I really wanted to have one because I have a few AM4 coolers but I don't have such adapter. Then we have two SATA cables, we have IO shield, here are the screws for the mounting of this adapter and the motherboard itself. Oh yeah, we also have a manual. This manual is in Chinese, so if you're interested you can read it a bit later, but I'm not very interested, so I will skip it. Let's put the box aside and take out the motherboard and see what we got here. So this is how the motherboard looks like. Quite small, I would say, but it feels it feels quite good, like I don't see anything which would be broken or uh, outright bad or something like that. The only problem I was able to spot is uh, here are some connectors and uh, they are a bit bent over here. I'm not sure if it's visible on the camera, like these little connectors over there, they're bent a little bit. But rather than that, everything seems to be intact and I hope it's gonna function well. I of course going to test this motherboard with my Xeon E520 640 third version and i7 6800K. Hopefully it's gonna work. Here we have USB 3, USB 2, uh, SATA 3, here USB 3, USB 2. Basically very nice motherboard, the only limitation I can tell about it is just two RAM slots. Other than that, it feels quite decent. The next one is gonna be Machinista X99Z. Let's open it and take a look what we have inside. As you can see, the packaging is way worse compared to Huanan G. Here we have just one SATA cable, the IO shield, and the motherboard itself. That's it. Let's get the motherboard out and see how it looks like. And the motherboard looks like this. On the first glance I cannot spot anything which would be broken or bent. Everything seems to be intact and feels okay. Uh, here we have USB 3, USB 2, two M.2 places for SSDs, these small heat sinks. Let's compare the uh, power system for the CPU on Huanan Zhi and this Machinista. We can see that there are way more power modules on Huanan Zhi compared to the Machinista, and Machinista has smaller heat sink as well. But I think it shall not be a problem for Xeon E5 2640 as long as this motherboard is turbo boosting correctly. On the good side it has 4 RAM slots compared to just 2 on this motherboard. If this motherboard would be able to squeeze here 2 more RAM slots it would be a perfect micro ATX motherboard for the LG2011 platform. 
Okay, let's go to the last one, Juan Andre X99 TF. Unfortunately, Juan Andre X99 TF box has suffered some damages. You can see it over here. Probably due to root transportation, but I hope that the motherboard has survived. Let's open and take a look. So, in the box we also have this uh, mounting for AM4 coolers on LGA2011 socket screws for the mount, the motherboard itself, under the motherboard we have two SATA cables, warranty card, CD drive with the sun drivers, and a readme. If you're curious you can read the readme, but I will skip it. So here is how the motherboard looks like. Looks pretty decent, but this plastic feels uh, quite cheap quality. Here we also have some buttons for power up and a reset. Three PCI Express uh, slots, which is good. This motherboard supports DDR3 and DDR4 RAM. Gray ones are for DDR3 and the black ones are for DDR4. On the first glance I don't see anything would be broken or bound, so I really hope that motherboard works. What is really frustrating for me is these two little fans, like how hard could it be to just make a bigger heat sink over here instead of making these tiny, uh, tiny fans for cooling down the VRAM system. But we have what we have, it's quite annoying and I have no idea what to do when these fans are gonna uh, get worn and stop working. Another problem is this USB 3 connector. I have no idea why they decided to turn it to look outside from the motherboard, not upwards. So if you have a small tight case which uh, has a wall like here, there is no way you will be able to plug in the uh, USB 3 on the front panel, which is a bit annoying. Anyway, most important is how this motherboard is gonna work with the CPUs and I of course is gonna test it with my i7-6800K and Xeon E5 2640V3. And before I finish this video, let's take a look at all three motherboards all together. So these two small ones, they look quite much alike. Machinista X99Z has four memory slots, Juan Andre X99M has just two memory slots, it also has just four SATA ports, this one has three SATA ports and two M.2 slots, while Juan Andre X99 has just one M.2 slot for SSDs. On the other hand, Juan Andre X99 has a better power system for the CPU and better cooling. Uh, well, if Machinista X99Z is actually working fine with the Turbo Boost, USB 3 ports are working and everything else is working as it should work, then I would prefer this motherboard over Juan Andre, just because it has four memory slots. Actually, I'm not sure if those four memory slots will provide me four channel memory or just two channel memory with the two DIMMs per channel. Anyway, this one is slightly cheaper, it's being sold for like 60, 65, 70 euros. This one is about 65, 70, 75 euros. Whether it's worth it or not, I can only tell you after detailed testing. So wait for that and uh, you will get to know. Let's switch to the Juan Andre X99 TF. With this motherboard, Chinese are trying to enter luxury market for their motherboards and uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna work for them or not, but what we can see here is these two annoying uh, fans for the VRM cooling. I have no idea why they decided to make it, probably because they want to be trendy and look like AMD AM4X570 motherboards or something like that, but whatever. If these fans will go malfunctioning, good luck finding a replacement. Another feature of this motherboard is support for DDR3 and DDR4 RAM. Unfortunately, DDR3 RAM is only supported by just a, a few Xeon processors. On this yellow sticker, we can see entire list of the supported CPUs. I'm not gonna read out loud them all right now, but the most interesting one is Xeon E52678V3. Once the CPU will be on my hands, I will check 
which RAM is actually better to use on this motherboard? Is it DDR3 or DDR4? Here I have my standard set for testing LJ2011 motherboards. It's Intel Core i7-6800K processor, M.2 NVMe SSD, USB 3 SSD for testing USB 3 ports, SATA 3 SSD for testing SATA 3 ports, and then server registered ECC DDR4 RAM as well as standard desktop DDR4 RAM. I have not yet decided with which motherboard to start testing, but fun fact is that seller of this motherboard told me that I, I can actually overclock my 6800K on the motherboard and he promised me to return my money back if I will not be able to overclock my CPU. I'm not sure if that's true or not true, I will definitely test it. Maybe he will start to say their usual stuff, something like, well, I didn't quite understand what you mean, that's not what I mean, like, I'm very sorry, and blah blah. But anyway, I'm gonna test it and uh, tell you guys. That's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Goodbye.